Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will find out Tesla's new 4680 battery destroys solid state battery competition. But before we begin, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Tesla didn't hold back at battery day, announcing a new tabless 4680 cell form factor, among many other things. The new form factor eliminates the tabs, increases energy density, maintains similar thermal characteristics of smaller cells, improves the power to weight ratio, streamlines manufacturing, and lowers cost. Said another way, the new Tesla 4680 cell is the equivalent of bringing a potato gun to a french fry fight. Let's walk through each of the improvements the new form factor brings to the table. Watch this video till the end to know how Tesla's new 4680 battery can destroy solid-state battery competition. Scale is necessary. Tesla was content buying cells with its proprietary chemistry from its suppliers but saw issues on the horizon. Tesla aims to grow consistently at a rate of 40 to 50% per year, and to do that, it is going to need more and more batteries. Tesla's battery forecast showed a gap between the production limits of its battery cell suppliers and Tesla's internal demand for its automotive and energy storage businesses. To solve this, Tesla's teams have been hard at work buying and designing new technical solutions to drive further improvements in the battery cell format. Perhaps more importantly, Tesla leveraged its know-how in the battery cell manufacturing space along with its world-leading manufacturing equipment competency to rethink the entire process from start to finish. In the battery world, we saw Tesla establishing new ground truths with the acquisition of the battery and supercapacitor pioneers at Maxwell Technologies and Hyde Bar Systems. Tesla learned its way through the construction of its first Gia factory in Sparks, Nevada, acquiring the manufacturing equipment experts at Groman Automation, Form Factor. One of the results of these efforts is a new 4680 tablet cylindrical battery cell format that brings a host of performance, manufacturing, and cost benefits to the table. As the name implies, the new jumbo cells are 46 mm in diameter and 80 mm in height. The larger jelly roll packs more active battery material into the casing for a 5 times improvement in energy storage and a 6 times increase in power. Scaling up to the pack, the new form factor alone delivers a 16% increase in range. The new tabless 4680 cells are fundamentally superior to cells with tabs in just about every way. Even though they are larger, eliminating the tab makes it easier for electrons to get around inside the cell than in the current 2170 cells. You have a shorter path length in a large tabless cell than you have in a smaller cell with tabs, Musk said. Improved chemistry aka silicon is awesome the new cells are not the result of a single change in the size of the cells much like the numerous rewrites of tesla autopilot over the years the 4680 cells represent a fundamental rewrite of the history of battery cells at tesla silicon is used in tesla's batteries today but its physical properties make it a bit of a challenging element to use at higher volumes the challenge with silicon is that it expands four times when charged with lithium Beglino said Silicon is the most abundant element of the Earth's crust after oxygen, making it a lower cost, easy to acquire commodity. Sand is just silicon dioxide. To work around silicon's rough edges, Tesla perhaps unsurprisingly started with raw silicon. Right off the bat, that lowers the cost of the silicon, and Tesla simply built new chemistry to complement it. Stabilize the surface with an elastic ion conducting polymer coating that's applied through a very scalable approach, Beglino said. If it sounds like the ultimate win-win, you're exactly right. That's one of the many reasons Tesla's Elon Musk has been bubbling over with excitement about the otherwise tech-heavy battery day for the last few months. Reimagining Cathode Production According to Tesla, today's cathode production processes are based on legacy chemistries and processes developed in silos. Tesla being Tesla, a new blank sheet of paper was used to draft a plan to optimize each step to minimize waste and cost from ore to cathode the simplified pictogram of an extremely complicated global supply chain, spanning from the processing of raw ore to the delivery of the finished cathode, is far less convoluted. Not only is it more streamlined, but it is also far cheaper and results in less waste. Tesla's new high-nickel cathodes eliminate the need for cobalt. Chemically speaking, cobalt is a fantastic anchor for a cathode, but it comes with some serious caveats. Improved thermal characteristics 
The improvement that does a lot of the heavy lifting to enable using a larger form factor is the tabless design. Eliminating the tabs reduces the internal resistance within the cell caused by the extra component. Internal resistance translates to more heat generation, a more complex manufacturing process, and higher costs. Tesla's new 4680 cell eliminates the internal tab instead of integrating the function of the tab into the jelly roll itself, resulting in a clean, uniform look to the end of the cell. We took the existing foils, laser powdered them, and enabled dozens of connections into the active material through this shingled spiral. Tesla SVP Drew Baglino said, Tell us in the comments section your thoughts. That's it from today's video. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy. See you in the next video.